G'day viewers, Craig from Benio Hydroblasting back with you again. Just thought I'd put together another short video on the best way to go about cleaning up your old bike carburetors and show you what result can be achieved by hydroblasting or vapour blasting your parts. Here's what we are going to clean today. It's an old Makuni Solex carby from a Yamaha XS650 uh, to achieve the most cost effective outcome uh, it's best to break down the carby and remove its internals before you take it to the hydroblaster well here we are again carby stripped down uh, and separated into parts that I want washed and parts that I don't uh, when cleaning multiple carbies it's best to keep all parts separated uh, in numbered containers and give them to your hydroblaster like that um, that way you can be sure that when you reassemble you're going to put the right bits back in the right bodies um, so now we'll pop them in the machine and give them a wash okay viewers here's the parts out of the machine and cleaned up ready for assembly uh, for those wondering about the cost of this service these parts took just under 30 minutes to achieve this result so that should give you some idea of the amount of skrilla that you'll be up for um, okay I'll pop these parts back on the bench and give you a look at the reassembled product well folks here's the finished product uh, another great outcome and would look awesome on any resto and another benefit of this process um, you can handle it with clean hands and you won't put dirty fingerprints all over it um, which is something you cannot achieve by the dry blasting process well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed my little video uh, if you like these videos please hit the like and subscribe to my channel and I'll endeavour to upload more items of interest in the future as they come to hand you can also check out other work I've done by liking my Facebook page Bendigo Hydroblasting. Uh, so for now, it's Uru from the Guru.